back. Random TV Reviews, your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, we're coming in with this week's Power Book 4 Force, Episode 3, Firestarter. <laughs> yeah, man. Y'all remember that movie? Man, that movie was everything with Drew uh, Barrymore. Man, set your A on fire. Hello. Quickly. You piss her off. Yeah. <laughs> but before we get into this, we heard you all. We heard you all. And yes, we're going to drum, jump on the Bel Air train. So starting either tomorrow or on Tuesday, we're going to drop the episodes back to back to back. Yeah. Until we get caught up with this week's episode. So make sure that your post notifications are on, that you're subscribed to the channel. So when we drop those gems, you be the first one to know. Yeah. So we, we heard y'all. We heard y'all. <laughs> we're a little late to the party, but we coming. All right, now back to Power Force, man. Uh, this was a real good episode, which we all know we're still in the character development stage. We see yeah. Tommy is still making those boss moves. But what I love about now is that Tommy is making more smarter moves. Because we know the time before when Tommy wanted to start his own crew, Tommy wouldn't think he, he was... Think nothing yeah, he, he just wanted to pull the trigger and take, you know, take Cass out. But now he's thinking different. Well, he doesn't have a choice. Yeah, he he play, He's starting to play chess. He ain't as good as Ghost, but no. he but he definitely starting to play chess. So we saw in this episode. It started off where we see Vic Flynn went down to the Chicago police station to get three men that were picked up, and he had to end up putting up ten G's to get them out of jail. But this episode, we mm -hmm. found out that that weird police officer dude the black guy the yeah. black guy is actually um working the with books. the flint yeah, yeah he, he working with them so now it makes sense why he ended up in diamonds them barber shop on in episode one so we were trying to figure out his angle so yeah he's on he's on their payroll so we see that vic flynn actually goes and confronts him because vic is like why we got you on the payroll and when and we, and we and we still getting picked up and he was like, basically, the, the skit that y'all doing is way above my pay grade. So why take the job? Oh, yeah, why take the job if you can't keep... keep? keep yeah, he so said, I'm, I'm supposed to keep... You're supposed to be keeping my man out of jail. I just spent $10,000. Yeah, $10. yeah which, was, which was crazy. So now Vic Flynn is trying... Now Walter Flynn is trying to figure out how he can stop his men from getting shaked down. So what they decided to do, they want to set up a meeting to meet up with Alderman McGuire... And he wants Claudia to give up some some puss, or like Mark Doc say, get those cheeks clapped so that <laughs> they can stop being shaked down. I said, wait a minute. Your daddy is basically telling you to hoe out. Right. So that your family can be secure. But yet you don't mm -hmm. listen to anything else that this girl has to say. You mm -hmm. told her to stay in. Well, I guess in your mind, a woman's place is do what I say and yeah. open your legs when I say it. So we see that she end up going and meeting with Alderman McGuire. Oh my god. And he thought he was gonna get the draws, but she pulled I did too. <laughs> she pulled the okie doke on him, was like, we need a firm price. We we don't need the targets to keep moving. We need a price. So he was like, I'm gonna still give you the price that I'm gonna give you when I'm gonna give you because I'm the only one that's keeping y'all out of trouble. So she <laughs> she ended up bringing up his daughter and he quickly was like yeah, okay yeah. Uh, you can give me, you know, you can continue to give me what you give me. We all good. We good. So I'm like, you dummy. You ain't think that they was ever going to go on to threaten your family. Which, right. which shows us how smart that Claudia is. That Claudia thought that out. All the way. And her daddy didn't even think about that. Exactly. Of holding something over his head so he won't have a moving have, target. Yeah, you always got to have a collateral over your enemy's head. Well, obviously, um, Walter didn't have nothing over, uh, over his head. Yeah. Because he was moving the price up and down. Which was crazy, crazy. So now we see that JB is getting a little bit paranoid about this money that Tommy is giving him, which I feel I because, like, if I just met my brother <laughs> not even a week ago and I tell him I got a financial struggle and he reach in to pull me to pull out 25 bands and give it to me, I'm like, cash. Yeah, cash. Like, what the fuck is you Rolled doing? Up. So he telling Tommy, you know, I, I don't know if this money is legal or not. And Tom was like, hey, back in um <laughs> back in New York, me and my me and my partner, we did lion <laughs> mats, parking <laughs> lot, lot club. And you know, we I sold said, everything. Y'all really you won't lie. Split, <laughs> sold everything and we split it down the middle. So that's what I got the cash for. He said, so you have some kind like, of retirement or something? Yeah. <laughs> he said, like, what is something like that? So JB was like, okay, uh, Tom was like, oh, no, JB was like, well, where is your where's your partner at now? Damn, oh, he's gone south. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> real south. Way down south. 
So this lets us know because we kept on trying to figure out if JB was into anything illegal. But now nah. we see that he a straight shooter. He's straight laced. You know, he a George Bush voting straight laced by the law, <laughs> by the book. He want to do this thing right because he ain't trying to go to jail, which we know is going to be a problem because we know that Tommy going to want to clean that money through that Good. bar. Yes, he does. Yeah, so now how, you know, how is Tommy going to convince him? He's or, not. Or is that going to be the straw that's going to break the it camel's is. back with their relationship? That's what I'm thinking because... If Tommy comes up with that money, what was it a hundred, almost one hundred and ninety-seven thousand dollars that JB said was the magical yeah, number? Yeah, that. <laughs> yeah, because Tommy was like, "So this is not gonna help you out." Because JB was it, like, "It's good, but it's yeah. not gonna put a so dent what I need." Yeah, what's the number that you need to bring? And it was one hundred and ninety-seven thousand dollars. So Tommy said, "I'm gonna go and not find a solution to your problem, but Tommy's gonna find a solution to his problem, and then JB's gonna have no." way of saying no right to what Tommy needs to do through the box. And, and and that's Tommy man. That's what we love about Tommy is that heart that he has. His code is family. So I mean mm-hmm. to like just meet your brother and gonna try to come up with that kind of cash. But it's kind of manipulative too. I mean, it is, but we know that Tommy what the way Tommy think is I'm helping out family, so family need to help me out. But, but it, when they don't it go wrong. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's go, why I say this. But it go wrong. So it's like I will do this for you because at the end I'm gonna need you to scratch my back too. Yeah. But what if I didn't need my back scratch? Would Tommy come up with that kind of money? Yeah. So we we've been seeing this build and build the relationship between Diamond and um Jannard. We knew from episode Ooh. one when Diamond kept telling Jannard that I'm different. And then last episode when he wanted him to work with those guys, he was like, "No, nah, they bad for business." You know, they trigger happy. So this episode, um, he was asking Diamond, like, okay, what we gonna do about this white boy? Which was Tommy, you know, you know, the old Diamond would have capped him by now. And he was like, I try to tell you, Diamond, I'm trying to tell you, I'm, I'm different. different. I'm different. And we saw that it, it went left. And Jannard told him that basically it, it whatever's gonna happen in CBI, it's either gonna have to it's gonna have to go through me. I'm going to have to make the decision. And that basically, if you want this thrown back, you're going to have to take it. <laughs> I said, say less. Yeah. So, we, I mean, we basically saw we that. Saw that we, we saw that coming. So, that was the first incident that was on the, when they was playing baseball. And mm. then we saw when they had done the deal, that Tommy had did the deal with Walter Flynn, which we're going to talk about that more in a minute. But that's when the second incident went down. But can you... Can you blame Jannard though, for real, for real? So it was almost like you and your brother had an organization going on, right? And you were the head of it. But then you got popped and you went away for 20 some odd years. Your brother was handling everything right. while you were on the inside. Now you come back out and this supposed to be a turnkey business back over in the reins back to you. For for 20 years, I've been holding this down. I've been yeah. gaining the trust of my soldiers. Right. I've been running these streets. I don't gain the respect and fear of everybody that I yeah. need to. So now that you're out, I just get this back over to you as if I'm your puppet. Yeah. So I get what Jannard is saying. Yeah, and then he was di- and then Diamond did was kind of talking down like, "Hey, I the one yes. that gave you this seat." All the time. But, but Jannard was like, like that too. But Jannard was like, "I the one that made it relevant." Yeah, and yeah. he was like in that bed that you sleep in, in that place that you sleep in, in that barbershop. I did all that too, so they do it to each other. Yeah, because he wanted, because um, I have forgot this part, because Jannard actually wants to actually redo the parks, the basketball, the, and make it look real nice. You know, like the white side of the neighborhood. He wanted the black black kids to have some nice stuff too. And I was like, that's a, the bomb idea. Yeah. But how you gonna, how you going to explain where this money came from? When you go down there and get yeah. bits. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, maybe they might. the LLC to fill up that throat. I don't know. But you forgot to even talk about the whole boxing fight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how we even got yeah. to the four Yeah. Yeah. I say I want to tell y'all part. Yeah. So, uh, when Tommy had came to them to present them, present Diamond with the deal that the Flynn's wanted to work with them, um, Jannard wasn't for it. Like, no, nah, we're not doing that. And every decision that's made in this organization is going to come to me. And Jannard told him, basically, if you want this throne, you're going to have to take it. So they got into a boxing match. And Diamond <laughs> beat the brakes off of him. Yeah, he did. And that leads into with um, Elijah and Jannard. So come to find out that Jannard fake being knocked out because Elijah told him was like, uh, 
you know that this is going to drive a, a wedge. Uh, you know, a wedge between, it's going to be a divide mm-hmm. in CBI. Some people going to go with Diamond and some people going to be with us. Janard is talking about, we're going to play the long game and eventually they're all going to be with me. And the only way I can see them all being with him is that you got to kill your brother. So now it's going to be like, how, how is that going to play out? And how is they going to have two crews in one? Or was that part of Janard's plan? For Diamond to have his own thing, let him. For somebody that wanted to get out and not be a part yeah. of the game, <laughs> yeah, is show up a part of the game. Yeah, he been he been snatched back in. So maybe that's a part of what it is that both kings can rule how they want to rule. Meet in the middle. I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna definitely have to sit around. I, I definitely want to see how that one gonna mm-hmm. play out. Definitely. All right. So now we see that uh, <clears throat> this episode that Tommy and Liliana. Oh boy. Is going to be working together because she's come to find out that she knows how to cut coke. And not only does she know how to cut coke, she's good at it. Undetectable. Yeah. So I was like, okay. And Tommy was like, okay, if I had known that you was this good, I would have, me and Ghost would have hired you to work for us. She said, but no, instead you tried to kill me several times. So. <laughs> said, I paid your hospital bills. Yeah. I said, I'm dead. <laughs> So at this point, she she really don't trust Tom. It was like, why why are you helping me? Which that that's that's what I'd be like, you know, y'all so he's helping y'all try, himself. Yeah, he helping himself. But she hopefully by now she understand that. So Tom was like, okay, now we need to sell this because come to find out that each brick that she got is worth thirty thousand. So Tom is like, whoever you got this from, it ain't if. They, they, they ain't they ain't if they gonna come. It's yeah. when they gonna come. But, of course, Tommy don't care. He's like, okay, so now we need to get out here and we need to sell this skit. And I was... <clears throat> so, his first plan was to go to Walter Flynn. <laughs> I said, really, Tommy? Like, really? Like, you've set yourself in a position where you can see every corner and you know whose who's, um, territories are marked and who where the territories that are wide open are. Why do you need... So, they go and they talk to uh, Walter Flynn... And Walter sent them on a deal, him and Vic, on this deal with this guy named Colin <laughs> that was all coked up and, and gave out. coke to this girl. She was like, Colin, I don't know what you give me. I don't feel right. This something ain't right. I'm calling the cops. It's yeah. like, what God doing? What you get? What the hell did you give her? Because she, 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 she so no phone. I ain't right. she, never did no coke, but I don't did some weed before they had me like that. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're talking about that. We're not going to talk about it. <laughs> so, Tom was like, um, this don't feel right. We need to get out of here. So that's when that dude Colin pulled out a gun, and so they had to end up killing him. But I was like, did did Walter send them over there on a bad deal? I believe so. Cause Walter is so stuck in his freaking ways. It's mm-hmm. it's old school or no, no way. way at all. He he remind you of the the for those of y'all that that go to church like the older uh-huh, people uh-huh. how church has always been and you want to come in and try to make things relevant no 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 they ain't no we ain't doing it that way uh-huh. but we always did it this way or you go on a job and they've been doing this stuff the, the manual the way. manual way or the old way and you got a new way but somebody there that's older been doing it for 20 years like no nah, we always did it this way so we, it, they frustrate you man because they don't want to do nothing different you yeah. remember a few years ago and it hasn't been that long when we bought our car and we went to the Toyota dealership, and this dude wrote our invoice mm. on a slip yeah. that had the carbon paper behind it. Yeah. Like, our invoice was handwritten. Yeah. We were in that office for, like, three hours. Yeah. I'm sitting here like, if you won't give me the bombest deal I've ever had in my life, I will walk out of here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, that deal, when they got back to Walter, that spun into Tommy pitching the idea that... Walter should work with CBI because we seen in the episode that him and, and um, Liliana was talking about all the different territories. This crew run this territory, mm-hmm. this crew run that territory. So this is our best bet is to get CBI and the Flynn's together because what can, can happen is over. they can cross over. So we can push pills and they can push cocaine. So it'd be a win-win. So that was what they wanted to push to uh, Walter Flynn. So Tommy got the meeting set up, and Diamond already knew that it was going to be BS anyway from the jump. So we got in the meeting, and what did, it, what, what did uh, Walter. Walter do? Mm-hmm. He started playing the race card. He started Waltering. Yeah. 
Yeah, and, and Vic was pissed off, was like, wait a minute, this was our chance to get back on top, not get on top, but to get back relevant because our business is going down. He said, we're about to be and extinct. You, and you so gun hold on doing it the old way, and you let the, let, let the business go. Because I was like, Dom, when Dom was getting ready to leave the first time, and, and Tommy like, convinced him to turn around, I was like, nah, I would have been gone on been gone first. Like, nah. Because like he was saying, he said, I'm not coming here to be your boy. I'm yeah. not coming here to be your, your no. I'm yeah. not. So... <laughs> Uh, so the question is, how is how is that gonna play out? It's like, what's Tommy's angle? Did Tommy actually think that that was gonna go through? I did. Or was that him further dividing the crews? Hmm. Let me think about. You that see what I'm saying? Because, because Tommy is trying to take. Tommy is not trying to work for any of them. No. He made that. He really, make he's made that known. So to bring them together and that falls apart, that creates. A further wedge between CBI and the Finn family, and then he can work the middle, right? So Diamond know that they wasn't gonna work with him, and we knew Flynn wasn't gonna work with Diamond them. It wasn't gonna happen. Hmm. So, nice. so what? Uh, so I wonder if that was a chess move by Tommy. Mm. Interesting. Hmm. Didn't think about it like that, but I do like how mm. um, Tommy apologized to Diamond, and he was like, "Listen, I ain't know it was gonna go down like that inside." And Diamond was like, it ain't on you. Yeah. You know, but thank you anyway for the meeting and whatnot. I was like, well, good, because I thought that that was going to be a little kerfuffle. But yeah. So this episode, Gloria finds out that Diamond. Dom- I said Gloria. <laughs> Gloria. <laughs> Gloria. Gloria. Gloria finds out that Tommy is actually in the game, too. Um, and she was actually a little upset that he didn't tell him. He was like, well, you never asked. But we can see that did not stop she didn't her. Just find out she was at the. It was yeah, the meeting yeah. was at her bar. Yeah, at her bar. So that's how. Yeah, how she found out. And she out. was there. When is Vic going <laughs> to confront Tommy about being up on his girl? <laughs> because even when they went on the run that Walter set up, it was a little too. Mm, I mean, it was business as usual, but it was almost like he won't even mad. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. We'll get there. I'm yeah. sure that we'll get there some point. Yeah. So after Gloria had confronted Tommy, uh, we saw that there was two other officers that was looking at Tommy, and they was like, "The the Flynn family have a new guy." So Walter, well, Walter is we had said earlier in the episode, as long as the feds are not building a case against us before she before he sent Claudia to meet with the alderman. But it seemed like they are building the case against them. Yeah. <laughs> when you got the telescopic camera lens on. Yeah, so yeah. we see that the feds are on to the Flynn family. Mm-hmm. But then with that day on Tommy pulled off in that Mustang, and we mm-hmm. saw that on G-Wagon followed him. I said, well, who the hell is this? Yep. I said, that guy doing Claudia. Yeah, so now from that incident, I'm wondering if him and Claudia is going to work together. She never said anything, but she let Tommy know She's in that I got Tommy. I got something better. I, this, this skit that I got will kick your teeth in. <laughs> and she told Tommy that opportunities come out of chaos. So I'm like, what the hell does that mean? Mm-hmm. So in other words, what she was telling him that this new drug is about to hit the streets and it's going to be chaos and you got an opportunity to get in on this. But... I, I, but I'm still trying to figure out, do she want to work with him or she's trying to be top dog too? I think she's trying to be top dog, but at the same time, I think she realizes that Tommy and her's objective in the end game is it's all the same. same. Get in with the hottest <clears throat> get, make money, and keep being innovative about it. Yeah. I think that's... And she's intrigued by Tommy. I mean, who wouldn't be? Yeah. This dude that came in that flew in on a, on like a broomstick and yeah. coming through here is shaking skit up. Like, and, and ain't following nobody's yeah. rules. Like Gloria <laughs> said, we'll get to it. But she was like, the, fi- the fire starter lives in a firehouse. How yeah. fitting. <laughs> How fitting. All right, so now we see that um, Claudia is talking to the chick that got that new drug. And that chick wants to work with the Flynn family. But Claudia was like, no, nope. you're not working with them. You're going to be Work working with, with me. me. And the girl girl was like, well, that's that makes more, more monetary sense, which... Which it does. Yeah. And then the queen already alluded to um when Gloria and Tommy was over at the uh 
at the firehouse. I didn't even recognize last week that that was a firehouse. I didn't either. Yeah, but uh, yeah, Gloria, boy, she, she, yeah, she got a hard thing for time, and she, she was like, Texas, she I was like, like, you awake? He said, always. You want some company? And, always. And she didn't even want to talk. She just get. She said, wanted the buck. Yeah, just go ahead and clap the cheeks like Mark Dark said. Just go ahead and clap these cheeks real quick. But real facts, did you think that um, Tommy mm -hmm. and um. Liliana was gonna get it in because when Liliana came out there with no clothes on to cut that coat, and Tommy was said, like, uh, Tommy You're was not like, my type. Tommy said, You do nothing. But he kept staring at her, though. Uh -huh. He kept looking. And she was like, Don't worry about it. I don't do white boys. No way. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, When they took that bump of coat to test the product, I said, Oh, hell. Because this yeah. reminds me of when him and Redhead used to get high yep. and, and buck and spit yep. every guy doing <laughs> where. I was like, Tommy. So, yeah, like I said, good episode, man. Filler, so, very much filler. Yeah, so we're going to see, like, you know, how Claudia's going to pay out, you know, working with this other girl with this new product. We're gonna see, oh, you see didn't even tell them what the product was. It's a freaking crushed up diet pill. Yeah, a diet pill. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck? A diet pill that the FDA took three trials to realize that it was so close to cocaine. cocaine yeah. I guess that they pulled it. Yeah. So now they got their hands on it through this girl. So I'm trying to figure out where is she, like, where does she come from? Like, Yeah, because she, she, like, she just came out of nowhere. Yeah, like, is she a drug rep? Like, a, yeah. a, a, like she works at the real pharmaceuticals? Like, we need to get a little backstory on that skin. Yeah. How did she get her hands on, on that. these diet pills that they crush up? And it's like Coke. Right. And we got to also sort of figure out where this Coke that Liliana got, is that the Jimenez Cartel's Coke? Tommy uh, playing yeah, with that yeah, card. Yeah, he's still trying to. We, we need to figure that out. Now we got to figure out, you know, Diamonds and Janard's relationship where that's going to go. I, I can't wait to see how. Don't you know that's remind you of um, Ja Rule now? Yeah, he do. Yeah, he do. <laughs> and y'all say that um, Diamond look like Tyrese. To me, a little bit, but not a whole lot. But he he do kind of favor Tyrese just a little bit. I just want my baby. <laughs> and uh, when is Walter Flynn going to die? Because I can see that coming. Hopefully he tell, he tell her Claudia is bronchitis. So I can see that his car is getting ready to run out soon. All right, y'all get down in the comments. Let us know what y'all thought about the episode. And we're going to catch y'all in the next episode of Pile. Shit. Straight from the VA. Dirty, dirty to, to up. To down. Holla. Boom.